If you're a homeowner over the age of 55, then stop scrolling. Home ownership represents not just a source of pride, but also a substantial investment for most people. As we grow older, a home's equity can serve as a crucial lifeline, particularly for retirees who may have limited income sources. This is where the concept of a reverse mortgage comes into play. The intersection of reverse mortgages and bankruptcy. Facing bankruptcy is challenging. When coupled with a reverse mortgage, it can feel like navigating a labyrinth. Understanding how these two financial elements interact is crucial to making informed decisions. Bankruptcy Types, Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 In the U.S., the most common types of personal bankruptcy are Chapter 7 and Chapter 13. Chapter 7 Bankruptcy, also known as liquidation bankruptcy, involves selling off non-exempt assets to repay creditors. On the other hand, Chapter 13 Bankruptcy allows the debtor to keep their assets and repay their debts over three to five years. When you file for bankruptcy, an automatic stay is placed, halting most collection efforts from creditors. This includes the reverse mortgage lender. However, this doesn't mean the reverse mortgage is forgiven or paused. How a reverse mortgage is treated in bankruptcy. With a reverse mortgage, homeowners are still responsible for property taxes, homeowners insurance, and maintaining the home. If they fail to meet these obligations, the lender can foreclose on the property. In a Chapter 7 bankruptcy, if the homeowner can't maintain these costs, the court may decide to sell the home to pay off the reverse mortgage. However, this is less likely if the homeowner or a spouse continues to live in the home. Chapter 13 bankruptcy, on the other hand, might provide more leeway. Since it involves a repayment plan, the debtor may be able to include delinquent property expenses into their plan, effectively preventing foreclosure. However, it's important to remember that bankruptcy doesn't erase the reverse mortgage debt. It remains attached to the property. If you or your heirs wish to retain the home after your passing, the reverse mortgage must be paid off. Strategies for Navigating Bankruptcy with a Reverse Mortgage Navigating bankruptcy and a reverse mortgage simultaneously can be tricky. Here are a few strategies to consider. 1. Consulting with a financial advisor or attorney. Financial trouble can be overwhelming, and making decisions in such a state can lead to further complications. Consult with a financial advisor or bankruptcy attorney to understand your options better and make informed decisions. 2. Exploring other alternatives. Before deciding on bankruptcy, consider all other options. This might include debt consolidation, loan modification, or negotiating with your creditors. Sometimes, Restructuring your debts can be a less damaging route. 3. Filing for bankruptcy responsibly. If bankruptcy is inevitable, ensure you understand the impacts on your reverse mortgage. Work with your attorney to plan how you can maintain your property expenses during this period. Give us a like, hit that follow button, and share this video with your friends and family. Stay tuned for more tips on reverse mortgages and how they can work for you.